What's up everyone, Mark Lobliner, CEO, MTS Nutrition. Let's talk a little about hormone replacement therapy. It's funny, I was actually looking at some articles on hormone replacement therapy, and I found one from CNBC back in 2012. 2012, now, just put in perspective, it's 2019. That's like seven years ago, am I right? Seven years ago. So anyway, this article was entitled, Check it out. It was entitled, Wall Street's Secret Weapon for Getting an Edge. And it was about executives and Wall Street personnel being on HRT to give them an edge. Now, it's not necessarily about getting an edge over their companion. It's a matter of maintaining the edge they had when they were younger. Their brain synapses were firing better. When they had more testosterone, which has you know, kind of been linked to, I don't know, just being awesome overall. While I do this video, just heads up, I have red velvet MTS whey, banana, outright bar crumbled on top, and a little bit of whipped cream. And it's delicious. Check it out. What happens? Men get older. Testosterone decreases. That causes a lot of different things. You're not as aggressive don't have as much of that instinct. You might have less energy. Your sleep might be a little bit worse. You don't have a sex drive. You just, life's just not good anymore. <laughs> it just sucks. And I've been there. And I've been there. And what about females? Let's, let, let's get beyond males. What happens when females have off-balance hormone, progesterone, thyroid, testosterone? Just doesn't function optimally. My wife, for example, for years had issues energy levels, sex drive, a lot of different things, libido. And how can anybody have issues with libido or sex drive being married to me? That makes no sense, I'm hot. So obviously there's something wrong with her and not me. <laughs> she sits right across from me, guys. So I'm reading this article because I always like, and it just came up when I was actually searching for a study on hormone replacement therapy, and this came up. I was looking for a study in old dudes on hormone replacement therapy because there's a study that came out that showed actually cardiac benefits to long-term low-dose testosterone use in aging males. So I looked it up. Let me read this to you. Testosterone levels in men, this from the article, tend to be anywhere from 150 to 850 nanograms per deciliter, depending on age and other factors. Testosterone levels typically start to decline after, the age, of, at, after age 30. For some men, as they get older, those levels fall to 200 or below. My lowest, when I was diagnosed with low testosterone, was 75. I think it was 74 or 75. Low T, as has been branded, has been attributed to that sluggish feeling, muscle aches, belly fat, low stamina, low sex drive, lack of focus, that many just attribute to the aging process. Now, aging is going to happen. Father time is undefeated in the grand scheme of life. However, what if you can mitigate one of the issues that causes you to age. What if you can mitigate the mental decline of aging? What if you can mitigate the physical decline of aging? I'm 38 years old, I'm gonna be 39 this year. I've never looked and performed better in my life. Now, I've had TRT prescribed by a doctor. I've had TRT prescribed by, well, the street chemist. I've also had TRT, HRT, with my current doctor, and that's Dr. Kurt at Hormone Health and Wellness. If you look down below, bear it in there, I'm gonna link it just because you guys are gonna ask. Highly recommended, highly reputable source um, for hormone replacement therapy there in West Palm Beach. But of course, they can work with you anywhere in the country because it is 2019 and doctors don't make house calls like when I was a kid. No, I'm not that old. So, let's go further into the article. All of these guys on Wall Street can get treated Common complaints. Doctor, I'm tired, I'm run down. My muscles are sore. I get home, I don't wanna play with my kids. I feel my creativity slipping. I don't wake up with morning erections. I said, if you wake up in the morning and the only thing stiff is your back, you should be taking testosterone. That was a great quote. The treatments are aimed at getting a patient's testosterone level up to an optimal range, about 850 to 900. Now, different doctors will differ on what optimal testosterone is. It also depends on the patient. As Dr. Kurt, again, 
because you guys are going to ask, if it's not linked down below, if I decide not to put the link, feel free to DM me on Instagram. It's And my Instagram is at Mark Lobliner. In fact, just do that. If you want their information, DM me at, at Mark Lobliner on Instagram. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, but at Mark Lobliner. If you're not following me on Instagram, do it because I do a lot of cool things on Instagram. What I'll do is I'm going to put my Instagram below. DM me there. Or you can find them on Instagram, Hormone Health and Wellness. Check it out. So the bottom line is, for me, someone who boxes twice a week and spars, someone who weight trains five to seven times a week, someone who manages, runs, and owns multiple businesses, someone who travels a lot, someone who has kids who wants to keep up with us, someone who coaches, I'm literally active. Someone who goes on bicycle rides, I'm always all over the place. If I'm not thinking, like I wrote a, a thousand word article this morning, I handled all our international business, and then I weight trained, and then I did a bunch of stuff, went to my kid's soccer practice, then I'm gonna go on a long bike ride. For someone like me, my doctor believes my testosterone should be in the 1200 to 1500 range. It usually ranges between there, and some people are like, that's not HRT. Well, who are you to say what HRT is? So I've also been called a fake, an, a fake HRT natty, where I'm claiming I'm on HRT, but I'm on other stuff. And let me tell you this, here's what I'm on, and I, I've gone over this before. My doctor has me on MK677 prescribed, which is a HGH secretagogue. It makes your body secrete more of its own HGH. I'm on Armor, which is a very weak thyroid hormone to keep my thyroid moving. That tested pretty low. Um, I'm on testosterone injections. I'm at around 250 milligrams a week. And um, a Rimidex two times a week, which I need to get more of. I ran out, I forgot to ask for more. Um, but that's it. Um, I was on HCG. Um, twice a week, even though I have no plans on ever coming off because, well, I've been on since I was 27 years old and I'm 38 now. So the thing I want to talk about HRT is it's not just for meatheads. And in fact, I think most meatheads are abusing HRT and using it to blast and cruise. What it means when a bodybuilder or an athlete blasts and cruise is they go on HRT or TRT dose. So that when you come off steroids is your levels plummet to below normal. They might get down in the 70s, 80s, less than 100. What being on HRT does, you take your last dose of your cycle, which is a super, a super, um, super physiological dose of testosterone. Let's say a gram a week, right? So you come off, you go down to 250. So you baseline. So instead of doing this and this, you do this and then you do this. So that's why I've always been a fan. If you're a competitive bodybuilder, that would be the right way to do it. But again, I'm, you know, I'm accused of being on extracurricular stuff, but I'm not. One is, it's illegal. At any time, the DEA could come in my house and, oh, they won't get, they won't get you for that. What, what, who, who says? If it's illegal, they can. I don't want to have anything illegal on my, on, my, um, on my person, in my house, or anything. You know, I'm good. You know, I'm not giving an open will to search my house, but I'm not worried about it. I don't, have a, I don't want to have that stress. Like, I own a sport nutrition company. That'd be crazy. Another thing is, I'm as big as I want to be. Why would I tempt fate? And also, it's very unhealthy to have those ups and downs in weight. I'm not a fake HRT natty. But the bottom line is, if you are looking to better yourself, you're aging. I'm not saying you go on HRT. Not everybody needs it. I know 50-year-olds with testosterone levels in the upper thousands. I know 50-year-olds who have no decline. I know 40 year olds have no decline. But if you get your levels tested, if you're feeling run down, sex drive is low, energy is low, mental acuity dies down at the end of the day, you need afternoon naps, everything's just kind of going downhill, maybe it's for you. And what we saw in this article is it finally got some mainstream positive press that hey, HRT is not cheating. Now again, if you're a natural bodybuilder, I don't believe you should be able to compete on HRT. I've stood by that a long time, but different organizations and federations have rules. And most of you people watching this channel don't compete. I don't compete. I retired in 2015. I'm done competing. Like there's nothing in and nothing about me that even I, I train and I look this way because I love it. 
But if I had to go on a super physiological, unhealthy dose of testosterone to maintain this, there's no way I would do that. I wanna live as long and healthy of a life as possible. Now, HRT is amazing if you need it. And I don't like when people abuse steroids and call it HRT. That's not HRT and it's your right to do that. That's a steroid cycle. So unless you're under the supervision of a doc supervision of a doctor and you're getting prescribed legal testosterone or other hormones, then you're not on HRT. But HRT is something that can benefit a lot of people. For example, my wife. Well, your wife doesn't even look like she lifts. She actually looks really amazing and she's really strong and she trains her ass off. She's my training partner. Best workouts I've ever had have been with my wife, right? My wife's just Honestly, like she works 10 hour days. Um, she raises three kids who are in school, so it's not a full-time job anymore, but if you've had kids, you realize no matter how often your kids are in school, it's a full-time job. She trains five to seven days a week, and um, she's always had issues. Finally, because of Dr. Kurt at Hormone Health and Wellness, after all these doctors running all these panels, sex drive has always been an issue, you know? Um, Thyroid level plummets, right? They tested her thyroid at low normal. Finally, he pinpointed, you know what? You need to treat that thyroid. Progesterone cream, testosterone, progesterone pills, testosterone cream. Boom, she's a new woman. So hormones are vital and key to you living your best life. If you don't need it, don't take it. However, there's nothing wrong with getting a test. Now, the beautiful thing is, it's not hard to get a, how do I get a blood test? Here's what you do. I guarantee you there's a lab core or a similar place around you. What you do is you can go to, again, you can contact them on Instagram or contact me and I'll link you up with them. Contact Hormone Health and Wellness and they'll write you a prescription for a blood work. Again, they will give you that prescription to be able to go get that. So that we could run it and you can get that consultation and assess where you're at. Or if you don't want to use them, do not go to a general practitioner. Here's why. A general practitioner is like a utility infielder, right? Decent at second base, decent at third base, but he's no Aussie. You know what I mean? He's not going to be able to throw down the perfect play. A GP can stop the bleeding, but he can't fix the wound. A GP will just shove you off to somebody else. So if you are gonna get this, find a good endocrinologist or hormone specialist in your area. For example, my old insurance provider, Humana, um, again, it depends on your insurance carrier, whether it's covered or not, I don't know. I don't know your insurance. My companies, because of rates and everything going up and down, it's changed all the time. When I was on Humana, for example, I had an issue with my foot I need to find a podiatrist. I went in the directory and it gave me a directory of all the podiatrists within a 20 mile radius. I had an appointment the next day. Depends on your insurance, okay? So what I recommend you do is if you have an insurance like that and you don't want to utilize an out of state carrier like my doctor, like Hormone Health and Wellness, what I would do is I'd go and I'd go on that app if you have Humana, which was a pretty good insurance carrier. I had no issues with them. Um, based on the fact insurance is a fucking mess and go on their app and find out if you have a PPO, you don't need that referral from the GP. If you have a PPO, find out a good doctor or a, a, a doctor that's covered by your insurance and go to them and utilize that insurance money at least to get your blood work done. And then you can take that blood work and maybe use that with a hormone, th hormone specialist if they don't, aren't able to work with you on it. But again, I can't vehemently be as, uh, I can't highlight enough the fact that self-treating um, hormone issues with illegal drugs is not a good idea. Purity, infection, who knows what's in the bottle, okay? Not a fan of that. Gonna definitely say you can't do that. You shouldn't do that. And number two is, so no, wait, hold on. I'm getting confused. I'm Polish. Give me a break. Number one was don't self-treat. Number two, general practitioners generally suck at this kind of thing. Find a specialist, or again, I'm giving you an option. But if you have a specialist in your insurance plan, use that insurance money, you know what I'm saying? But another thing to look at, unless you're a female, if your doctor wants to put you on cream or the patch, I'm not a fan. 
I would recommend injections. They're just a better form. So again, a lot of people who watch this channel are gonna find this video, don't even lift. Just being real with you. Just wanna perform your best, be your best, and like the article say, be, over, be able to go home and play with your kids. I'm here to say there's nothing wrong with HRT. And it has, my life, I've been on it so long, I can't remember if it changed my life or not. It's been that long. I just know I'm freaking feeling amazing. My wife though, night and day. And a lot of people I've referred, night and day. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Don't even let me know your thoughts. <laughs> Comment down below if you've been affected negatively, positively by hormone replacement therapy. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like this channel. Go on Instagram, it's at Mark Lobliner. DM me and I'll get you the information if you choose to speak to these people. Again, I'm not, I'm not getting, and also another disclaimer, I do, I'm not paid by this place. There's no remuneration. There's no money exchanging hands. All it is, is I truly believe in HRT and um, if you need it. But if you don't, I truly believe you shouldn't do anything. Just be healthy, eat healthy, exercise daily, be the best you that you could be. That's not a game.